Well, welcome everyone and thank you very much for coming to this uh, ceremony which has a couple of very important components to it, but we'll speak of that a little further on in the program. About a year ago, the Premier asked uh, if I would head up a group that would work towards bringing the, a STARS-like program to Saskatchewan, and of course it didn't take long to realize that a STARS-like program would not work as well as a STARS program actually could. They're focused clearly on one specific thing, and that's the patient. Everything else takes second place or third place or fourth place to the needs of the patient. And I think that that mentality, that ethic, is something that's very, very important for us to remember in Saskatchewan as we become not another province joining the program, but the fourth and fifth bases uh, for stars in Western Canada, and I think that's important. Helicopter service is going to be coordinated with our existing air and ground ambulance programs to ensure that people get a rapid, rapid response and a quality response when they need it. This is another step down the road we're going to take in this province, not only to advocate and, and hopefully attract growth, but to plan for growth, to be able to provide the quality of life that we know growth can pay for to provide, in this case, important emergency services when they are needed. There will be effectively a flying trauma room that will be able to land on site uh, with the right staff, a trauma room nurse, sometimes a doctor perhaps from a trauma room, a paramedic professionals who will be able to have all of the amenities to provide emergency care. We're very proud and excited to be a founding and lead corporate sponsor championing such a worthwhile and needed program. We believe strongly in investing and giving back to the communities in which our people live, work, play, and STARS represents an outstanding way to give back to all the people of Saskatchewan. At Mosaic, we say our mission is to help the world grow the food it needs. That's our goal, but to achieve it, there's a lot of uh, commitments that need to be in place. A commitment to a sustainable business, a commitment to shareholders, a commitment to growth. But perhaps most important, it's a true commitment to the communities where we live and we work. It is a very proud moment for us and we look forward to sharing this moment and uh, many more going forward. The leadership that went into uh, creating the opportunity for this to occur cannot be spoken of too lightly. It's been, a, it's been a journey and it's been a wonderful journey. We've ended up in a place where I think the next 10 years holds great promise for community involvement and of course improvement in our uh, patient care. We work in very close partnership with wonderful existing services in the fixed wing air ambulance and the ground and and also all the other providers, the RCMP, the volunteer firefighters, and the many people who put their lives in harm's way to, to help our society be a better place. So we're grateful for the opportunity to fit into that system, and uh, we know it's working well in Saskatchewan. Well, this is one of those good days, because with STARS, uh, this is a little better place, this province of ours. This Saskatchewan has a little better emergency care, and we can make assurances, some assurances to our people that we couldn't make without it. We have a great road ambulance system. We have a great fixed wing ambulance system that the government uh, runs. And we needed, we needed this complement, we thought, we felt. And so we were able to make the, uh, the, the step forward in terms of uh, uh, the financial contribution and, of course, uh, working with STARS was very easy to do. We had been talking to them for a long time. It was really was happenstance. I saw a STARS mission occur in South, South Calgary when we were there visiting our children. And it picked up my interest and I made an appointment to visit with the Powells and see what they were doing and was uh, fascinated and very quickly became came to realize that this would be a tremendous program in Saskatchewan. Rod Gantapore came to see us and uh, when he laid out the, the program on the table, we, we looked at it and we said, this really fit with us and, and our belief and, and our needs. We run our potash operations in rural Saskatchewan and uh, timely uh, first responder uh, support service is just absolutely critical to us. When we think about Saskatchewan, we think about all of the people, it's not just our mine sites, it's the communities that service us. And so it, this just made so much sense to me that uh, we couldn't say no to this uh, request. I'm born and raised in Saskatchewan and it just feels so good to be able to see us take this next step. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. And I'll be very proud when the first mission flies uh, 
in this next spring. We also fly with uh, registered nurses as well, uh, right. trauma room or ICU nurses as well. Oh, okay. And their training is the same throughout Canada. It's a Western Canadian initiative, right? It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Atlantic Canada too, so um, so um, Ontario has a program called Orange. Okay. Yeah, Halifax, Nova Scotia has a program. BC has a rotary program as well. STARS in Saskatchewan is a wonderful opportunity to serve people who live juxtaposed and uh, share a workforce across borders. And when we fly, we don't see those borders. We just see people who are critically ill and injured, and we're very pleased to have the opportunity to serve all those people. The success of STARS and the essence has been the collaboration between community, corporations, and government. And to have the opportunity to work within the Saskatchewan community to enhance access to rural care, to critical care, uh, is just so gratifying and so important for all citizens in Saskatchewan. And given the amount of support just from the people of Saskatchewan and the corporations that have stepped up in the largest way we've ever seen in our history, um, certainly makes uh, the heart rate go up and uh, occasionally has brought tears to my eyes in the last 24 hours. So it's a wonderful day.